So onto accessories, I thought I'd start with jewellery. And these are all the pieces I'm taking with me, as well as my Majuri ring and earrings that I've got in and my little chain necklace. So the colour scheme that I've got going on when I show you the clothes is neutrals and orange. So I thought I'd take these with me. Now, these are from Kos, but they actually come on a silver hoop, but I swap them to gold because they're just more me. But these can literally come off and then you can pop it on any hoop. So I love those for that. And they're gonna just add a little pop of orange to a really simple outfit. Then I've got these to wear on Keisha's wedding day. So we're gonna pop those in just as a second earring. So those are from Majuri, which I've linked in my, one of my previous videos. These are from Astrid and Mew. If I just want a little pearl. These are from Carrot London. Great little hoop, just in case I wanna switch it up from the croissant style and then I've got this gorgeous set which I'm just obsessed with I love this for the summer months so this is from Carrot again you'll have seen these in a previous video of mine and we've got the bracelet and matching necklace too so those will definitely be for an evening outfit and then I've got this beautiful set from Monica Venado which you can really dress up or dress down then we've got this from North Skull, which is the Lydia Tomlinson collection. And this pouch is actually from North Skull too, which I received when Lydia was doing her collaboration with them, which has been so handy for me. I literally take it everywhere with me when I'm traveling. And then we've got this Monica Veneda bracelet too. And finally, these little hoops from Hoop Station. So that is what I'm taking with me in terms of jewelry just to mix and match a few things. As always, it's gold jewellery. I love it. I love gold on holiday with a tan as well. And then we've got the odd like special pieces here, if you will. So yeah, that is my little jewellery collection. And then this literally folds up like this. And then I tend to wrap one around and another. And then I can tie it. Oops. like this and then everything is nice and neat in there like that so i've just moved my case over there so i've got more room to work with and now i'm going to go through my hand luggage so this isn't fully finalized but these are like the basics that i take with me so I always take my Loewe bag when I'm going on a sunny holiday. I just love it and it just goes everywhere with me and I don't want to risk like squashing it in the case. So this is coming as hand luggage, but because it doesn't have any lining or anything, I use dust bags. So this one is from Russell and Bromley and they're just really easy to just pop in your bag and then you can just pop everything in there as well. What we've got is a liquids bag. I hardly take any liquids with me, to be honest. Um, that is literally it. Deodorant, lip balm, and some like face mist to keep me nice and cool. And then obviously my passport. I've actually got these here as well. I do usually take my sunglasses, but we're arriving in the evening, so there's no point. And then obviously my purse, my little Radley purse, my my hairbrush and a charger and also my camera as well. I have actually added a extra 10 kg case on today, which is just there, which I'm gonna put my bridesmaid dress in, my bridesmaid heels, so anything for Saturday that is urgent, just in case my case gets lost, you never know. So that is what's going in there. And then also we got Keisha a present now, I think I can show you. I'll make sure this video goes live after we've given it to her. So this is our little gift for Keisha from the girls. Popped it in a really big dust bag just to keep it nice and clean. So this is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. Isn't it just gorgeous? Now, I really want it now for all my... <laughs> to go with all my pieces but it's just beautiful the color everything the size is just perfect for it and we feel like she'll use it loads so yeah that's what we've got her so that is going in the that is going to be safe with me on the plane okay so on to accessories and these are all the shoes that i'm going to be taking with me as you can see there's a theme going on and then we've got all the clothes on here as well, which I'll talk through. Then we've got some hats there, two little like bucket style hats, pajamas, sunnies, handbags. Yeah, that is everything organized. 
So I'll start with the shoes. These are from Accessorize and I got those off ASOS. My flip flops from M&S, which I will be wearing to the airport. My lovely platforms from Under the Stories. A gorgeous new addition from Under the Stories, which are these beautiful orange heels. They're so comfy. I wore them to my friend's baby shower to try them out. And then my old heels from Topshop. And then finally, my new Birkenstocks. So I've got a very clear colour scheme going on. And that is what we're going with. Then this is the The Moi clutch bag, which will go really nicely with any of these outfits. And my gorgeous raffia bag from Russell and Bromley. I just thought I had to take that as like a evening alternative to my basket bag. Sunglasses, I'm still waiting on some, but those are from Mango. And those are from And Other Stories. So for hats, this is a little bucket hat from Under the Stories. I need to take the label out. And then we've got this little straw one, which I've had for years from H&M. I'm also going to take my um, active wear because I do want to still do yoga when I'm out there. I don't know how many times I'll do it, but we've got some cycling shorts there and a little top. Then we've got my basic vest top from 90% for like an everyday top. So I'll go through all of the clothes now and I'll share as well how I plan these outfits. So this is how I plan all my outfits. So I've literally written all the days down, day, night outfits, including bikinis as well. So I think I've got about 16 outfits on there, which I know sounds excessive, but I'm going to be shooting some content too. So that is why I've got a lot on here. I forgot to show you these as well. These are coming with me. These are from Russell and Bromley. And I've got, I think I've got like every colour pair of shoes to go with each outfit now. So we're all good to go. And this one that I'm wearing as well is going to be a travel outfit. So I'll show you this on properly. But I'm going to start with the first travel outfit, which is this one from Mango. In this gorgeous like bubble cotton fabric. I just love this fabric. The pyjamas that I've got come in the same fabric as well. So I know that I feel really comfortable and it's really cooling so i'm going to show you this on now this is my travel outfit which is so blooming comfy so as i said before it's this lovely like it's called bubble cotton and it's so lightweight and soft on your skin perfect for traveling and i know it's comfy because i've got some pajamas in this fabric so i know i'm going to be so cozy and then also i can wear these trousers and this shirt again whilst I'm away because this because these will go with so many of my bikini tops if we're heading to the beach I can throw these on so I'm definitely going to get my wear out of them on this holiday and then we've got my Loewe bag and my M&S sandals too so I've gone for some with a bit of a height just so the trousers don't drag on the floor you can see there that they're just ever so slightly but I'll just pull them up at the back so they don't drag too much but i absolutely love this this is just the perfect traveling outfit and it'll keep me nice and cool as well and cozy so for sizing i got this top in a small and these in an extra small this is quite oversized actually so you could get away with an extra small in this as well but i just wanted more of a relaxed oversized fit so i just sized up one but definitely stick to your true size in the trousers so as well as like racking everything up, I then take pictures of all my outfits too. So I've got some pictures here just to remember what went with what. And I just find like that's the easiest way for me to do it. And remember what the whole look looks like. And then I've got everything there on my phone ready to go when I get over there. So yeah, that is the first look. And then the next outfit is this super cute little co-ord from H&M how retro does this look i can't actually believe how well the stripe on this little knit set matches my bikini it was like it was made for it so i'm very happy with this little combo so this is going to be for the day after the wedding where we're just lounging around the pool or going for a little wander then i will pop this on so i got the shorts in an extra small and this in a small because that's only that's all they had in store i think it's sold out online but i'll try and find it for you and then i've gone for my linen platforms as well to go with the look so yeah i love this outfit it's perfect for holiday and i'm just loving the orange with the neutrals as well 
Now, look number three is one you'll have seen in my recent YouTube video, my holiday edit one. And this is a little co-ord from Beach Cafe. And it's in a lovely cotton jersey fabric, really, really soft on the skin, lightweight. I just think it's a beautiful little co-ord. The skirt's got pockets. And then I've got my M&S sandals on again and my Loewe bag. So this is definitely gonna be one for maybe day into evening. I've not quite decided yet, but I will be wearing this at some point for sure. Okay, so this next look is for Monday night. And this top is actually a scarf from And Other Stories. It's such an easy idea to do. And then you can get multiple tops out of your scarf for holiday, like a brown and cream color. So it goes really well with the rest of the color palette for my holiday wardrobe. And then we've got these satin trousers from 12 Stories. I've had these a couple years now. Um, so I'll try and link some similar below and then I thought you know I love my three color rule I thought I'd pop a bit of color in there and put these orange sandals on from under the stories and then what I'll do is actually I'll put my orange hoops in as well from my jewelry um, pouch and then team it with this little orange bag so this little insert is from this I could go out with this but I just feel like a clutch is just more of an evening look. If I decide to change it, I could always just team it with cream instead. Um, but I'm, I am loving the pop of orange. And this next look is great for if we're gonna be hitting the beach or just going for a wander after being around the pool. So this is my Hunza G swimsuit, which you will have seen from my previous videos. And then my linen shirt from M&S, which is a size 12. And then I've put these cotton trousers back on as well. I was going to bring my beige linen ones, but I thought they do the same job. So there's no need for me to be overpacking. And then we've got my Loewe bag. And then I've just put my tan sliders on. So that is a really nice casual look for me. This is something I wear quite a lot of on holiday. Um, always a linen shirt and then some kind of like linen cotton trousers with a swimsuit. So this is going to be another day look and I just love this dress. You will have seen it on my previous YouTube video and I love the fact you can wear it two ways. So you can have it with the sleeve over the shoulder or you can pop it on the side as like an off the shoulder as well. So this is from Sleeper and it has been a dress that's been on my wish list for a long time now so i'm very pleased i've got my hands on it absolutely love it i cannot wait to wear this with a nice glowing tan i've literally scrubbed all my tan off this morning ready to apply it all tonight so that's why i'm looking a little bit pasty and a totally different color <laughs> to my face but yeah this is the dress that i just can't wait to style when i'm out there i just love it i'll probably end up wearing this quite a few times to be honest um, so this is definitely a staple for me. You know from my trends video, I love a white dress for the summer months and summer holiday. And then I'm going to team it with my tan sandals from Accessorize as well. So yeah, that is one of my day looks. I think I planned this in for Tuesday, but we'll see. And then this look is going to be a dinner look. So I've gone with the pop of orange again because I just love it for holiday. And then we've got my Pixie Market little bandeau knitted top and then my and other stories black skirt and my orange heels now the bag is a slightly different shade of orange but i think i think we can work with it if not then i will use my white clutch i will probably decide on the night but yeah this is just a really nice and easy outfit as i said before these shoes are just so blowing comfortable and I just love the pop of colour with the black and white. So this is definitely something I'll be wearing when we're going out for dinner. This is just a lovely evening outfit that I'm very excited to wear. This next look is another day look using this little scarf. Now, if you're not a fan of having anything around your neck, you can literally just tie it across the bust and then tie it at the back as well. But I just love the way I can dress this scarf up and down. And then because it is cream and brown, I've teamed it with my brown mango bag. My 
creamy white shorts which need ironing and then for now I've just popped my white Birkenstocks on but I have ordered some brown sandals to go with it so this is just a really nice little look for if we're going for a little wander or we're going out for lunch or something this is something I'll definitely wear and then you're not going to get like tan lines as well especially if I'm going to be tying this around the back I'll actually show you it tied at the back as well so there we go that is it just tied at the back you could do a double knot or even like tuck these in as well if the um the ends are going to annoy you a bit i just love this look it's just really easy you're making the most of your pieces as well because you could even wear this as a sarong with like um your bikinis so yeah that is another daytime look and then another smart casual one I've gone for is this little crop top with my top belt, my shorts that I showed earlier and then my brown Birkenstocks. And then I've gone for my brown woven bag as well. So this is just a really nice, easy, neutral look. We've got an elasticated back on this top too, so it's really comfy. And then for the final evening, I've packed my indigo rat and boa dress that i took with me to greece last year i just love wearing this in greece i just feel like the color just goes so well over there and it's just such a gorgeous dress so any chance that i get to go away i always take it with me so i've teamed it with my the moi clutch bag and my creamy top shop heels these are super old now so i'll try and link some similar they also do this in a gorgeous emerald green so i'll link both below for you guys so for this look i thought i'd reuse this little cardigan and tie it at the front and then we've got this little bardo top from under the stories which matches really nicely and then i've got my satin trousers on again i just feel like i wear these so much when i'm away and I've got my under the story sandals and my Russell and Bromley raffia bag. So this is a more of a smart casual outfit. If we're going for casual vibes in the evening, I would probably wear something like this. So this is something I'm wanting to shoot while I'm out there as well. I'm just loving these pops of color, as you know. So yeah, that is another one. And then finally, my traveling home outfit, which is this stripy cord from H&M. So I got this in a medium. I ended up swapping the large because it was a little bit too big. And then I got these in the extra small. So these are just really nice and easy to wear. They're like wearing pajamas. So they're great for traveling in. And then I've got my um, m s sandals on again and my Loewe bag. Also, I'm going to be styling this with this shirt open and with this little bikini. So this is just from H&M. A nice bandeau bikini. It's padded as well. So I got this in a size, I think it was a size 16, I think, for my boobs. And then I got this in, I got the bottoms in an 8, I think they are. Um, but they're really nice and high-waisted they're like called a brazilian brief and then they've got they've got ruching on the side so yeah i got that in i think it is an eight yeah got those in an eight as well so i'll wear those for like the beach or around the pool and then i can just pop this over the top so i'm getting my wear out of this little look Hi loves, so I've just got back from town. I've just had my nails done. So we've gone for a lovely French there. All the bridesmaids have got French, so we thought we'd all go the same. And then, as you will have just seen from the previous videos, I have shown you all the clothes that I'm taking. And then I've got a few extra bits here as well that I just wanna show you that I didn't show you when trying on. So I always take some sarongs with me the scarf that I showed you as well could double up as a sarong too. Um, but this one is just from ASOS. It's a lovely linen cotton blend. So that is something that will go away every year with me. And then this one is just a little bit more formal. So in case I wanna dress up a little bit if we're going to the beach, then I will take that. Both of those are from ASOS. So I will link those below. And then two more bikinis arrived. And I've got this tiny looking bikini from Rena Olga. I know it looks tiny, but it's that super stretchy fabric. So 
a fabric that I love so I'm taking those with me as like a white bikini option it's just great to have those monochrome colors and then a bright so I can mix and match so I actually got this from out dazzle which I will link below and then my sun hats this one is from under the stories I think I'll probably team this with a few of my creamy outfits and my Hunza G swimsuit so this one's going to protect my face from the sun and then we've got a lovely little straw one here. I've had this one for years. I actually took this to Mykonos last year. So this goes everywhere with me. And then hoping that I do some yoga. I'm going to be taking my active wear top and some cycling shorts too. So they can go in there. And then for basics, I'm going to take a white tank top. This one is from 90%. And then I'm going to take my black strappy one from Manga, which is currently in the wash and should hopefully be nice and dry by tomorrow. So that's the basics. Oh, pajamas. So I will take this little Mika set. I love this set. So this again is in that bubble cotton fabric that I love like my um, travel outfit. So I know that it's comfy. This washes really well. I have worn this little set so many times. So this always comes on holiday with me because it's really light and breathable as well. And then for underwear, I always put them in like a little bag like this. So this is just from one of my swimsuits. And I just find it really easy to keep them all in here. And then I've got another one here, which is what I'll use for like all my dirty laundry. So I'll pop that in there as well. And now I'm gonna pack all the clothes and accessories. Also, I forgot to mention, because Manchester Airport is apparently crazy with baggage at the minute i'm actually going to pop a few swimsuits into my case along with my bridesmaid dress so yeah i'm going to keep this one aside and my other hunza g one hello so now that clothes are done i'm now going to go on to shoes and accessories and try my best to pop the rest here and then I'm just going to use this little travel pouch to pop my sunglasses in there as well. But for bags, I'm going to put them in this big dust bag as well. My, probably this one and my orange one. And then I'll get another dust bag for the other ones. Okay, so that is me done. Here is what I'm taking in my carry-on case. So as I said earlier... Manchester airport has been a nightmare at losing cases so to be safe I've packed Keisha's gift in here my straighteners in case the girls don't have any um a few bikinis I need to take the tags off those that's why they're not that's why it's not neat yet bridesmaid dress and bridesmaid shoes and then I'm going to put a little bit of makeup in here just to be on the safe side because as long as I've got my swimsuit I'm going to be fine I mean, if I can squeeze any more in, I might put one outfit in from there. Just <laughs> the, the hypochondriac that I am and the amount of times my case has been lost has been a lot. So I'm used to it. I need to take a steamer for the bridesmaid dresses. I've just tested that out and it works a treat. And then I'm going to take my tripod as well because then we can get some like pictures in the morning and stuff. And also I can use it for shooting and not pester Lee whilst he's on holiday. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. As you can see, I'm so shiny. But I've got to go to my eyebrow and eyelash appointment now. So I'll finish the rest later. Me and Lee are going to weigh our cases. He's hardly got anything. But at least mine's not like full full. It's usually like full to the brim and I can't close it. So I'm very proud of myself. But it's just whether it weighs under 20 kg. Which I'm guessing it's not. I just always am over every single time. It's all my, um, it's all my products. But yeah, anyway, gotta go and get the brows done and the lashes and I will see you very soon.